if you're watching this video by now, you should have downloaded the Hanshu Green Links app. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk you through how to pair the Wi-Fi dongle of the Green Links battery to your installer account or station that you're creating within your installer account. So first of all, if you want to get this opened up on your phone, and then we'll go through the pairing of the dongle. So before opening the app, what you need to do is make sure you've got the Wi-Fi dongle ready. And I'd like you to insert this in the side of the Green Links battery on the right hand side in the recess. It's also the same recess where you'll find the serial number and code for the battery as well. So once you insert the dongle into the side of the Green Links battery, what you're looking for is a flashing green LED light. This indicates that the dongle is now ready to go into pairing mode. So now the dongle's in place in the battery and you've got the green LED flashing light, what we're going to do now is open the app and go through the pairing process. So simply open the Hanshu Green Links app and you'll be greeted with the home page. In the bottom right hand corner you'll see the word network, I'd like you to click on that. Once you've clicked on that you'll be greeted with this page. What you'll find sometimes at the top of the page it may ask you to turn your Bluetooth on, you just click on that right in and that will activate your Bluetooth. Now I'd like you to click the word search and what we're looking for is the serial number of the dongle or Green Links battery. At the moment we have two here because we've got a demo rig in our office so that's it's connected. But what you're looking for is the one that says unnetworked. You click on this and this will then start the pairing process. I do advise that you do this one battery at a time so you don't have multiple serial numbers but do this singly and then click. This will then take you to this page where you can search for the local network. Now this has already automatically picked ours up, uh, but you're looking for the local network of the customer's house uh, simply by clicking on the option at the top. In the password section below, simply enter the password for the modem and then press connect. What you're looking for is a message just like this popping up saying the connection is successful. What I would do though is check the dongle and make sure that the LED light on the dongle has also got solid. This confirms that you have a full connection. To check that you have full connection with the Wi-Fi, like I said, check the LED light on the dongle. This should be solid with an impulse flash for every 10 seconds. If this was constantly flashing, um, I would then repeat pairing process again as this has been unsuccessful. But if it's solid, you're connected. So now that you've confirmed that the dongle is now paired to your Wi-Fi with solid light, what you need to do now is log into your installer account on the app. We would have supplied you with your unique installer login details, so simply just add these into the fields on the front and then click sign in. If this is the first time you have logged into your installer account, you will be greeted with this page here. Just simply click skip at the bottom and this will open up your installer dashboard. And this is where we need to be for the next step. So from the home page, we now want to create a station or an installation registration. So across the top of the app, you will see the name stations. In this video, we have Mix House, which is just one of our demo rigs. But all you do is click on Stations at the top, which will then open the next page. This is a page where you can now add a station or a customer's installation. Simply click on the plus sign. And from here, you'll have a registration form. We recommend that you put your customer's details in here uh, as when this shows up in your installation account, you can then easily identify who that is and where it is. I must stress though, this is not a customer account or a registration for an end user. This is still currently under development, but we'll let you know when it's available. To create an account is very straightforward. It is a simple fill in the blanks form. So for demo purposes, we'll just make our own account up here. So what I would recommend is put the customer's name in their location or postcode. It's just easy to identify who they are and where they are in the UK. Below the name section is type. Click on there and all you're doing here is confirm whether it's a residential or a commercial installation. 
Just click confirm when you've selected the right one. Next is capacitor. Simply just confirm how many batteries you have. They go in 3.2 increments. Select the right size and then just press confirm. The next section is region. Tap on this and select United Kingdom. This will create a second drop down. Click this again. Wherever you are in the UK, simply select that. Now with the map option, using two fingers you can operate this to move in, zoom in to where your customer's house is. Simply click on the map once you've located the house and this will drop a pin. Just below the map is a section for the address. Simply just put your customer's address in there and then just press OK. And lastly you have a check code. So simply just enter the numbers that you can see just be a little bit careful though, the 1 and 7 can sometimes be a bit misleading, so if you get this wrong, simply retype and enter. Once you click create, you'll be redirected to your stations page. This is where you've created successfully all stations on your installer account. So now we've successfully added a station, what we're going to do now is pair our batteries to that station. So click on the station you've just created which will open up this page. Now I'd like you to press the plus sign, which will open up this form here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to choose the station. So this will bring up a list of all the stations you've registered. Click on the newest one you wish to add the batteries to and press confirm. It will now ask you to add the logger serial numbers and battery serial numbers. The logger is referring to the dongle, which is here. Just bear in mind though, these are case sensitive. So looking at the code on this one, we have capitals and small letters. Now for the battery serial number, this can be located on the side of the battery where the dongle is. It's a silver sticker. What I'll do now is I'll just quickly pan over and show you where that's located. So as you can see, the silver sticker is on the side of the battery, just under the dongle. And the serial number and the code is just here in the bottom left hand corner. This is what you put in your registration form. So once you've completed putting all the serial numbers in for the logger and the battery, you will now have to complete a check code again. Again, just be very careful with the sevens and ones as they do look like each other. Once you've done this, just press submit and this will take us to the next page. So once you press submit, you'll be brought back to your station homepage where you can see the battery you have just entered now is allocated to your station. If you have multiple batteries, you will have to run that same process for each battery. But I do assure you that going forward uh, in time, you will only ever have to put the master battery online as all the rest will talk through the comms cables to the master battery. But for now, if you just continue doing the same process, adding the logger details, the battery details, check code and submit, then eventually you'll have all your batteries showing on that station just here. And that's it. That's how we create a station within your installer account and how we add batteries to that station. Moving forward, we will show you how to create an end user account, but at the moment that's still just being developed and finished, but we'll let you know when that is available. Thanks for watching.